Well, the House of Anubis plot has well and truly thickened. Where has Joy disappeared to? Now, Mara's making a play for Mick. How will Amber hang on to her man? Just who is the mysterious stranger lurking around the school? And will Patricia ever stop complaining? Hey. One thing's for certain, I'm Jamie Rickers. And I'm Anna Williamson. And with the help of this lovely little lot... This is... Anubis, Anubis Unlocked. to Anubis Unlocked, your exclusive ticket to finding out what's happening in the most infamous boarding school in Britain. That's correct. We are right here on the actual set of the House of Anubis, giving you unlimited access to everything you need to know. We most certainly are, so don't go anywhere, because we're going to be hanging out and catching up right here on set with the all-star cast. In fact, there they are, just waiting to answer your questions a little bit later on. Plus, of course, we want to hear from you, the viewers at home. What do you think is going on? Who should be given the cold shoulder? Who can be trusted? So many questions. So please do get in touch. It's nick.co.uk slash Anubis. And share with us your thoughts. And all together, we can unlock the mystery that is the House of Anubis. So, what a crazy few weeks it's been here in the House of Anubis. Yes, Fabian mystified by hypnotic bananas. So, are we still on for tonight? Victor struggled with his brand new smartphone. And Mara... Oh, nice bracelet. Is that new? Oh, this soldier. This old thing. That's a little something Mick gave me, actually. <laughs> Here, have this as a little thank you present. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, well, uh, wasn't interested anyway. The big shock is Joy's disappearance. Now, we know it's serious because Joy would never have left without saying goodbye, without her mobile phone, or without Bunsy Bun. Joy would never leave without saying goodbye, or without her phone, or Bunsy Bun. Do I calm down? The victim will forward them on to her. Give them to me, I'll forward them on to her. Phew. At least we can trust Victor with Bunsy Bun, right? Wrong. Look, don't worry about Joy and Bunsy Mum for the time being, because right now, it's time to meet the cast. Hey, guys, so now it's time for us to answer some of your questions. And the first one is from Clara, who asks, what does a normal day on the set of House of Anubis hold in store for you guys? So, a typical day, we start at 6.30, we come in half awake, <laughs> have our breakfast while we're getting our hair and makeup done, and then we'll go on set until lunchtime, film scenes, and then after lunch, we're back on set. We finish, usually wrap around 7. And then um, everyone kind of goes home to study their lines. And Anna and I, we... We go to the gym and <laughs> learn our lines in the treadmill. <laughs> yeah, but it's fun. We love it. Next question is from Kia, and it's for Tazy. What would you like to see happen to Mara during the rest of the series? Uh, I would quite like to see Mara get more involved in solving the mysteries because she's quite brainy, so I think she'll be useful to Nina and the others mm -hmm. in solving the mystery. What do you guys get up to in between scenes? <laughs> <laughs> we really don't get up to much, do we? <laughs> <laughs> the truth is, um, sometimes we can be shooting up to like 14 scenes a day, so we're learning lines, sleeping, um, and Eugene's actually a keen dancer as well, whereas he's uh, well, not many people <laughs> Who out of you guys spends the most time in front of the mirror before shooting? I'd have to say, Taisy definitely spends the most time in front of the mirror because after she's had her hair and makeup done, uh, she decides to go and redo it herself. Uh, I don't, like, I'm not <laughs> crazy about Mara's hair. Well, I can tell you that the events taking place in the House of Anubis are causing quite a stir in the UK and beyond, with theories and counter-theories popping up all over the place. That's right. And it's not just you guys. Oh, no. Anubis fever is also gripping the world of celebrity. Everyone seems to have an opinion on something. So here's your take so far on the goings-on in the House of Anubis. I need to know what's happened to Joy. Where's Joy? Where's Joy? What do you guys think has happened to Joy? I think she's behind the whole plot with Victor and the teachers. She could be Victor's secret daughter and about to tell everyone what his plan is. I think she's gone because her parents can't afford school fees anymore. Three words have been bouncing around my head for too long. Where is Joy? The just was secretly jealous of her. She got her taken away. And the reason she talks about her so much is to cover up her scheme. Yeah, I think that Nina arranged for her to be taken away so that um, Nina could get her room. 
I think Joy has been taken to America to take Nina's place. And what do you think Victor and the teachers are up to? I think that all aliens are planning to kidnap the students and take them into space. Victor's a ghost and he wants to come back to life. He needs all the pupils to do it somehow. Victor is protecting the school from dark forces. Victor is such a creep. Shouting and screaming, throwing pens around, and what's up with that beard? The teachers want to take over the world, starting with the school and everyone in it. They want to replace all the pupils in the school. Nina for Joy was the first one. What about Mara and Mick? Will they get together? I think he'll stay with Amber, but he might kiss Mara. They could end up running away together to get away from Amber and the rest of the guys. No way! Amber is more suited to Mick. They make a great couple. They'll start going out with each other behind Amber's back. Mick is just using Mara to get his schoolwork done. He doesn't really like her. Sabuna. Great theories and predictions there. Loving all of those, but right now, it's time to turn our attention and our cameras behind the scenes. Welcome to the set of House of Anubis. And this is our bedroom. We share a dorm together. Oh, dear. Uh, OK. I swear we're not usually this messy. And this is my American country map. They like to emphasize the fact that I'm American. As if we didn't already know. We're in the cellar. This set is so scary. This is probably the biggest set I've ever been on. It's the biggest Nickelodeon set. We have so many different rooms and so many different yeah. secret passageways, and it's definitely a cool yeah. set. I thought this was a really creepy set until I found this. Have you ever heard of Escape the Blob? <laughs> I reckon it's one of Victor's favorite games or something. He must play it in his spare time from up here alone. OK, nice and quiet. Oh, Please. oh, we're having a rehearsal. Oh, we have to be quiet. We'll tell Victor to be quiet. Sure, he knows. There you go. Don't be telling Victor to be quiet on set, otherwise he'll be dropping pins left, right and centre. Now, Brad, we're going to give you the chance to uh, slip into Victor's shoes, as it were, because in the first episode, we see Victor smash Joy's phone to smithereens. So, we've decided to let you play a little game we've called Joy Phone Eye Smash. It's genius. It's very simple. All you've got to do is smash up to 20 phones as they come popping up through the holes, OK? Three, two, one... Go, go, go on! Yes. Oh, 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 it's like in the arcades, we have to hit the moles. Oh, 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 keep going. Oh, oh. Yep. Yeah. Good reactions, good reactions. That's it. Now, five, four, three, two, one. Stop! 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 Oh, Pete, well, listen, do you know what? Right now, it's over to the all-seeing, all-knowing, Allegna, Aliba, Rod Serrett. Come closer, my friends, for your first cryptic clue. Lay them all in to end, and you'll know when and who. To avoid the pain of a blackbird's wrath, a crystal prism will illuminate the path. Use diligence to protect ancient goods. Beware golden hoods and a spectre in the woods. Now go. Use the information you have wisely. Until next week. So, make of that what you will. I think I know exactly what he means. You haven't got a clue, have you? No. So, if you guys think you've got it all sussed out, let me tell you that everything you know is about to get turned upside down. Your friend has disappeared, Joy Mercer. If you get me a photograph of her, then I can help you. How? What's going on? It's better you don't know. That's pretty. What is it? When daytime ends. Sunset. At midday. Jason! What did he say? Why, it's the little troublemaker, aren't you, Patricia? Oh, my goodness, it's so exciting. And remember, you can catch up with the House of Anubis Omnibus every Saturday and Sunday. You certainly can. And keep in touch with us online. It's nick.co.uk slash Anubis. You can keep in touch 24-7 and send us your thoughts. Yep, check out the message boards while you're there and play the brilliant House of Anubis game, The Secrets Within. Guys, thank you very much for letting us interrupt yes. your filming and, of course, hang out with you on the set. It's been brilliant. Cannot wait for the next episodes. And, of course, join us next time for more Anubis Unlocked. Until then. Sabrina. Sabrina.